Hello boys and girls, welcome to another episode of The Numbers They Tell You So Much. I am your host, Tadio Mikdal. AJ Green has played four seasons for the Cincinnati Bengals and has made the Pro Bowl every year. But some think that paying him top dollar will be a mistake. The Dolphins signed Mike Wallace to five-year $60 million deal last year and the Chiefs just gave Jeremy Macklin $55 million over five years, even though Macklin only had one season with a thousand yards. This means that guys like Des Bryant and Demarius Thomas probably command at least $15 million a year. But what about AJ Green? Is he worth that kind of money? Last year, AJ missed a lot of time due to a toe injury and a concussion. He appeared in 13 games, but he left on the opening series versus the Falcons and only saw four targets against the Broncos because of a biceps injury. So basically 11 games. Therefore, AJ's total snaps dropped from 1,078 in 2013 to 666 last year. How did this affect the team? Well, Andy Dalton threw 14 fewer touchdowns and almost 900 yards less in 2014 than he did in 2013. And the Bengals passing attack went from number 8 in 2013 to number 21 in 2014. Meanwhile, Dalton's pro football focus grade went from plus 8.4 in 2013 to negative 5.4 in 2014. Pardon me. That's a pretty big drop if you ask me. Okay, fine, you say AJ is great, but is he one of the best receivers in the league? Despite missing about a fourth of the year, AJ still had 1,041 yards, and Pro Football Focus gave him a cumulative receiving grade of plus 10.9, good for 11th in the league. And his 15.1 yards per reception was better than both Des Bryant and Marius Thomas, even though Dalton threw for significantly less per attempt than the other two QBs. Most impressive though is AJ's yards per route run, which was 2.96, the highest in the league. So, is AJ the best receiver in the league? I don't know about that, but what I do know is that the numbers, they tell you so much.